So welcome back. We have decided to split this into two parts and for the eagle eye viewers will notice um, there's been a change of clothing um, and no makeup. So apologies for that. We've had uh, quite a good new year. Um, so we are in Denver now. Mm -hmm. um, what's happening in Denver now that you've got there? <coughs> well, uh, I think I did I say it last time. When we moved, so we first moved in, William came out. Mm -hmm. We were looking because we only had, up until then, we just had the, uh, like a fulfillment place to start. Mm -hmm. So like the first two years probably, or even if, aye, two years basically. We just started that way and bought some stuff. Um, bought some stuff for quite cheap, like, you know, like some old stock and stuff like that. We managed to get a deal on, just chucked it into like a fulfillment place. Mm -hmm. And then just went for there. But the problem, obviously, with that was for our stuff, like, it's not quite as easy as just picking and packing. Yeah. You, got, you know, you might need to make something or weld something or whatever. So, like, if we're going to do it properly, obviously, we'll need to get a space. So then we went and looked at some, well, just one place we had lined up when we got there um, that was, well, you would have seen it, wouldn't you? The mm -hmm. ready spaces. Yeah. Which is basically... I think there was 90 units in a big, massive building. Mm -hmm. So anywhere, I think, from like 250 square feet to, I think the biggest was 5,000 roughly. Okay, that's quite big. And it was all, it was like, what I told folk is like, it was like we work basically but for warehouses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get a unit and then you get access to all the stuff. You have a big communal area. You have a communal fort lift and like loading in bays um so we got a b space in there mm -hmm. which was only 800 i think it was 800 square feet to start which is like tiny like happy in here mm -hmm. yeah happy we were in just now which is like t like i mean but obviously at that point like we barely had in in the fulfillment place there was maybe i think i I thought at first we might like keep both because mm -hmm. one was in the sort of east coast and one more west yep. and then I thought we could maybe for shipping and that it might be quite good but then like <laughs> no long after that I was kind of like it probably makes no sense to have two different like right now I think a lot of big folk obviously when you can afford to have more stuff yeah uh -huh. it makes sense but then I'd, and I actually done like I looked at the shipping costs and all that because obviously that was one thing I was thinking is that obviously the shipping cost there compared to here is like way high. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, if you had like an east and a west, then it, it would help cut that down. You might be able to sell more stuff. Uh -huh. But then when I looked at it, because Denver's like in the more in the middle than like the west coast, yep. like you're kind of equal distance to everything. So like the average like might be slightly higher, but mm -hmm. like there's less variation. Yeah. Because like you're just in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it makes it almost easier at least to price, I would like price up people or give people a rough idea yeah. before actually getting a quote. Whereas like when you're on the East Coast, like I ship and run about the East and that's cheap. Mm -hmm. And then when you have to send something to California, it's ridiculous. Yeah, And same as you were saying, like obviously hitches and things which are made specifically for certain people's machines and stuff, would there then be a like double... Like cost for shipping because if you send Ooh, off the fulfillment uh, would obviously you'd send out I don't know I say you send out a drive unit from uh, there but you then still had the hitch to send out well that and then it, we were just limited to what you were barely done any because um, well souls was at that time and probably still the now like they're a long lead time to get stuff okay. like that made yep. they're not really set up like they're set up more for like no even like high volume manufacturing but like just knocking certain things yeah. out like whereas when you throw like just a one order in mm -hmm. if they're lead time for thumbs and that's six weeks like you just get chucked into that six week oh, right, okay. lead time yeah. so they're not really set up to just knock stuff out in like mm -hmm. two days yeah. so then I uh, you could and then it was like I uh, well you could then ship that do you wait and then ship that to the fulfillment so you can ship everything together or do you ship two separate it was just mm -hmm. becoming like a bit so, of logistical uh, nightmare. So, and then same way if you had the two different places, it would have been the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, you might have something in the other place and uh, yeah. you need three things and you've got one and they've got... So I was like, well, like, we'll just move everything. And I mean, at that time, there was maybe like six pallets of stuff. Like it was uh -huh. nothing. Yeah. And 
so as we ended up just like basically shutting that down and the, the fulfillment actually wasn't that expensive like for storing wise per, like it was just per mm-hmm. pilot per month and then to pick kings and pack them wasn't that expensive either but yep. we we're just like we just move it on so we got the first started with the wee unit and then moved to like a bigger well then got another separate one because that's a good thing about in there as well like if, if you had 800 and then like a 400 came mm-hmm. up that like you could just get that for some extra storage yeah. and then I think you just I, had got that when we came out like the beginning mm-hmm. of last year. I think you just got that wee extra space mm-hmm. when we had so We had like, say, 1,200 and then like a bigger one came up in there at 1,500. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it worked right good for basically, I think it was basically exactly, almost exactly two years. Um, I think that kind of idea of that space is really just good. Is a good idea, like, like maybe a sort of small business like it's, ourselves to start with and then you just gradually move well and there's stuff. no and good. i mean if you're a small like at that time like if the <clears throat> say the annual sales like were 100 grand a year it's mm-hmm. like well you can't go and spend like five grand a month on rent no which is what a small building will be mm-hmm. especially in a big city and especially well i found that out when i started trying to look at go and actually look at mm-hmm. units was that that small is even mm-hmm. harder to get yep so it was like for I that was why that's why that thing worked and it I mean it was jam packed to full time there would there would be some units would come and go but more or less like but then I what I because I was there for quite well two years was you started to see folks sort of grow out it like what we as eventually done yeah uh-huh. but obviously that's the idea of course yeah, yeah I I it was brilliant and they've got so it was called Ready Spaces and they've got ones. I think more or less in like every big city. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we have anything like. Obviously, it's certainly not near us right now. Maybe near our, like Glasgow. Glasgow or Edinburgh, there might. I know there's um oh, there is one similar to that idea, but nothing like close. And you get we work, do you or no? Um, is it Coval or something? Like it's more like office city spaces and. Aye, that's in what town. we work as. Aye, we work like just offices. Um, but then you get but there's no like this kind of idea of like know. warehouse and there's, no. there's nothing and that's what I'm saying like espe- I mean especially in places like Denver big cities and that it's like it's a fortune for mm-hmm. like a small and then you're tied into like well years like three years or something yeah, maybe uh-huh. whereas there it was we paid <clears throat> we committed I think to six months you can basically just do it monthly that's quite that is good and obviously we're looking f- here and I William's goal, and I'm sure he's like has said that it would be to buy somewhere, but unfortunately there is nothing in our area locally to here to buy unless we went into town, mm-hmm. which is then as well it's extortionate. I know, and that's and but a small lease would definitely would would help. I know because it's monthly, and then that's what I was thinking when we were trying to find places like we've said before. Is you know what to move somewhere that's no big enough when you're committing to like a long period of time. Mm-hmm. So we ended up committing to like six months in in ready spaces because you get it cheaper. Like if you uh-huh. commit. And we could have committed to a year, I think, and you basically would save like like a hundred dollars yeah. a month or something. But so we committed to six, but then after the six, it's just month to month, so you just mm-hmm. basically hand in a month's notice. That's good. Um, so then when it got to the stage, you basically no, actually, long after that, like I started thinking because there was wee things that you were limited on, and like there was there is like a community fort left in that, which was perfect for unloading, but. Then when it got to like unloading container loads of stuff in that, and it's like, well, then somebody else is using the forklift, and yeah. it's not the sort of thing you would book. Like you just jump on it and use oh, it. Which, okay. Which like I was using it more than probably everybody in there because our stuff's well heavy. Mm-hmm. Whereas a lot of folk in there like they're it's just boxes and they're not even needing to use it. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it was always when you needed it, like somebody was using it, or then, Aye. or then like even, and I mean that happens in everything when you've got your own stuff too. But like mm-hmm. the one day that she would schedule to like get like the maintenance done on it because there's a wee that woman that runs it that would be the day like a container oh, was yeah, turning yeah, yeah. up and you'd just be like I mean and I could have went and bought my own there was one guy in there that had his own they had one of the big units and they had okay. their own because they must have used it like all day every mm-hmm. day yep, yep. but at that point you're, that was the idea we didn't know what I have to go and spend I a bunch of money expense, no. so, so it was wee things like that and then the other main thing was well you couldn't weld in it mm-hmm. um, so then with the time you add up take the price of taking all the stuff away to get somebody else to do it mm-hmm. we're like well you can basically put that if you added that on to say the rent and then combined with like getting a bigger space mm-hmm. it was like well it's no on and just looking at numbers they're like i think the 
like whatever the rent was in there, like if you were, it's more or less, it will, it'll be double, more than double now. Mm -hmm. But it's more than double the space. Um, and it's saving and you time running time. to the welders back and forth mm -hmm. if you can do and it there. And then if you factor in like the cost, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, like independent welders, they're like $100 an hour. Oh, okay. Wow. Or like bigger. Or, or yeah, yeah. It, so the one wee guy I have, like he's 100 and he's good for the small stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he's more a mobile guy, but I just take stuff to him. Yeah. And then, but anything that's big, like he's not got a fault. He's just basically doing it in his garage. Mm -hmm. like, so he's not got a fault left to move big stuff. Uh -huh. So anything that you can't really lift. Will you get him in now? There. Like, can you get him in? Well, I don't know. Can you jump my head here? But I would you, <clears> could, would he come in? I don't, I don't know. Because, I mean, if he's getting $100 an hour for his other stuff. Yeah. If he's got enough other this stuff. This is the mobile guy? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, fair enough. And he, again, I charge his call out fee for mobile stuff but I, maybe okay. I, I mean if you told him he'd just come in and use all my stuff and yeah. like pay him whatever mm -hmm. maybe I like um, just maybe like trying I know that's kind of hard like we find obviously a, sort of bulking like a few orders up but then that leads to then well the first guy who's ordered on Monday, the Monday is, can't is wait to Saturday exactly and that's what I know so I think at first like we I just got a welder delivered there so I basically I moved to another building um that's our own unit and yeah. that. And it's aye, a bit more than double the size. They built, it was just a big empty building like in an industrial estate with uh, like a loading dock door. And it was just a big empty building, but they still had, when I went to look at it, they hadn't yet put the toilet in it. Okay. Because they'd sort of divided it up. It was a bigger one, they divided it up. And then, so they were like, we need to put the toilet in. Like, And I was like, well, it would be ideal if we had an office in it. Yeah. So then they sort of, sent me some plans for doing that and then obviously it kind of it never cost they ten, i think that whatever the base rent was they maybe added like 50 cents mm -hmm. a square foot onto that okay for the cost of building the office yeah so then that was ready in like october so then just i basically moved everything down there and then i got the welder on that bought a forklift and then i when i get back it will be Try to get the try to get a welder like rigged up uh -huh. and then see just start looking and seeing if what the deal will be with getting somebody to come in. Like you say, I don't know if there's I mean there's definitely not enough welding to keep somebody busy like yeah. forty hours, but between that and shipping and that, like there might be. And then if even if that was there, like if you had somebody for an extra ten hours that they could organise and mm -hmm. inventory stuff and that label. is interesting obviously because now there's very like it's I like for like between the US and here now because William's exact same we're obviously very much at the same point yeah, we don't have enough work for a full time welder at the minute hopefully maybe we will at mm -hmm. some point but right now we don't and then we need somebody William's obviously good at packing and picking and packing but he's better doing uh -huh. other stuff and it'll be the same with yourself like concentrating more on sales concentrate more on social like, media tiktok all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff i it is finding that sort of person that's a kind of all-rounder that'll i know and what, do that i know that and then what i can't wrap my head around because i mean i've never obviously employed anybody but is yeah. it like is it like it's not just a cost off the bottom line like if you're if you make a hundred mm -hmm. it's not just like minus 50 no because you have to pay a guy <laughs> there's a whole other yeah there's obviously the monetary value of having to pay somebody right that's one thing and i think that's maybe a bit more i don't know what's the word <sighs> clean cut right that's mm -hmm. that's how much you need to pay them right that's fine but like, right what is but the it's everything return? else there's a return on it but there's also then you're responsible for that person so what happens if our sales go down then mm -hmm. uh, there's so many outside factors mm -hmm. no just like yeah, we need to pay that person 20 like 20 bucks an hour or whatever uh, yeah it's everything else that goes with it i know what? are they going to leave are they going to, can we trust that person or well I so I, many things especially like if it's just me and say them mm -hmm. is it uh, the idea well then i can you leave and trust that person's going to come in mm -hmm. I just everything and and it's no I'll no have like the contacts as such to like get somebody that I kinda already know. Yeah. Whereas that's obviously you've probably more chance of that here, like mm -hmm. somebody that knows somebody that says this guy's good and yeah, yeah. at least you then have half an idea. Whereas I'll just be yeah. having to get a randomer. 
<laughs> we have that kind of safety net, obviously. Like, we obviously have Rab that comes and does welding, which we've obviously known through him obviously working with your mum mm. and dad. And so there's that wee sort of safety net. And surely our next door neighbour does our, like, bookkeeping mm-hmm. and stuff. So there's that wee... So like, at least you know. Like, yeah, but it is that thing, like, <gasps> like taking on somebody that you do not know. It's know. Quite, that is quite scary. But then when you've had a job, somebody's taking that chance. I know, you, everybody so you does. To, yeah. You, n- you never know. And it's... There's a rain on. Oh, cricky jings. <laughs> it's like... Hopefully uh, you don't hear that. <laughs> um, I, I know, and I, I just... I know, I, it's one of them, like, I, I had, like, there was certain... Like, we move into a bigger building and you're paying, like, more than double the rent and you're... And, and stuff like that. Like, I... I I quite like looking at the numbers and that and try to figure out like if you can what what's right and what's wrong. Obviously, it's not like we've got that much experience. We like, but I don't know. You just some the same thing with your, earlier when you're talking about like getting a visa and that. You just have a feeling like no, I think it's like right, they might the, num- the numbers might know like exactly add up or they might know they might not be as like safe as you think. Mm-hmm. But then you're kind of like you just think no, it's the right thing. The right thing. Aye, and going back to obviously your visa um, application, is there any sort of like credentials you need to meet? Because obviously you're investing within American the American economy. Do you have yeah. any parameters you have well, to... Well, I don't really know. I'd, uh, we d- had to do a plan. Mm-hmm. So you have to do like a five-year plan and it shows like where the business is when you're buying it and then where it's going to be yes. or what your plan is to grow it. Cause, and I suppose that's probably more like a... If you're buying like an established thing, then well, it's like, like what is your strategy going to be like? How are mm-hmm. you going to add to it? Yes. Whereas, I mean, obviously we are adding to it, but we're kind of just doing the same thing and just letting it grow yeah. to an extent. Uh-huh. But we had to do a plan, like a five-year plan, and then they obviously they want to see like that you're going to have a plan to hire people and mm-hmm. that. So and we ours was basically well, we ended up doing way more numbers than the plan because. Just because I, you're ju- I mean, you're going for basically nobody spending that much time on it to, mm-hmm. well, one person spending all their time and then still some other people help adding in. Mm-hmm. So you'd like to think it was going to, like, keep going. Yes. But it's, uh, the numbers have went way up, like, the, which is obviously good, the, the like, the planning, like, how soon I thought you would, like, need people. Has that been really quickly? Like- well... Well, again, for your plan, you obviously want to kind of show that, like, you're like quite soon you're going to need uh-huh, people. Yeah. So, and that was all down to the sort of immigration lawyer. He wasn't saying what to put, but he was just saying you want to show that, I maybe after five years you have got at least a couple full time. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think there's like a hard set thing like you need one person a year or you need like. Oh, okay. I, I don't think. But, at least the way I was explained it was when you go back to renew it. Mm-hmm. Like so, if we if we sent the first one away and like it, it wasn't the right number, but say two thousand twenty to twenty five was the visa. Mm-hmm. So you do a five year plan. You say in year one to five, this is what we're going to do, and then year two we're going to hire this person, and uh-huh. then year three, and here's like here's all the new products like that we're going to try and sell, and that's what's going to lead to the ex- mm-hmm. all this a big business plan type thing. Which was actually quite good a uh, process to go through because we've never done that ever. No, and I don't think like, uh, yeah, William has never. I know no. we've never done Sat one together, down. but yeah, William has never come up with a business plan. No. It's just can he just keep going and see what just happens. Can he, yeah, yeah. 100%. Which it was like, hi, I've still got it and I go back to it. And I, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's mm-hmm. kind of if anything, it's good to like see where you were wrong in that. And, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you're trying to extrapolate out like, well, if we're doing this much more sales, well, what? what costs like go up like if you're mm-hmm. and I it was just really it was really good like if your credit card processing like that's mm-hmm. gonna go up 3% yeah, or whatever uh-huh. it might be a, no matter what the number is I, how does that yeah but then other things are maybe no or like or like all your shipping materials not like they're gonna keep going up the more you sell yeah but then well your rent is gonna go up but it's it's not going to go up at the same rate. Mm-hmm. So that all these things and try to work out. So I did go back actually after like year one or two and looked and I was certain things like I was miles off it, but then there was other things like I was actually quite close to. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, 
But aye, it's, it is quite a good process. But I don't, aye, as far as I was explained to it, you didn't have to. They're, they, so when I go back to renew it again, mm-hmm. they're not going to look back the way. Oh, so they're not going to say, like, oh, you said you you're going to have no. five people. Where's these five people? I think they're just okay. going to look at, so it's, say it's 2025. Mm-hmm. They're like, what's the business? What's the size of the business in 2025? Like, what are you doing in the next five years? Yeah. So as far as I'm aware, and that's what we were told is they and they don't actually keep a record. They they, they couldn't do that because if if you were like you can reply that for you reapply for that every five years yeah, for uh-huh. sixty years. Oh right, okay. So they couldn't sit and look back at every no. one. So it's just I think that, if they're looking just, at the numbers, if the numbers will be enough. Only the numbers, they'll be like, will be enough, oh, that's definitely. Yeah. How much you're it, putting back into the pot? Because that was the main thing when I went to the interview in London is that was our main concern and that's what the guy the immigration lawyer told us is that the two main things are are, well basically the size of the business yes so but what I had shown him because it took that many months even once you get accepted to then get the interview thing so obviously but as soon as you get accepted you can technically start working okay you just kind of come back because you've no visa yes aye or you could come back but then you Mm kind of go back so you ha- I had a bunch of months to basically start working before like the interview thing, mm-hmm. which again, basically straight away because you're spending full time effort on it. Like stuff starts to grow already. Yeah. So when I went back for the interview, that was only maybe six months. That was the guy basically said that because there's a big check, basically checklist that your application answers all these things. Right. So when he was there and he's kind of like, he was like asking a couple of things, whatever, and then it was like. Basically, I like my one concern because one of the visa requirements is that like the business has to be big enough to pay the visa applicant like me mm-hmm. like a living wage. Yeah, uh huh. Which at this time, like if you're only making, we're maybe making twenty grand a year with nobody taking any wages mm-hmm. out. So it's like, well, how that doesn't add up. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So then it was basically like, so how are you going to do that type thing? And what I, I had took like the numbers, like the sales and that from. Like when I had technically taken over, yes. Like to show that, like, well, already, like it's, uh huh, it's say double. It, yeah, yeah. It and, then, and basically, as soon as you seen that, it was like, oh, you'll be fine there. Uh-huh, yeah, I, yeah. So, so I, I think the mate, the, so they'll, they'll look at the numbers. Like I, I think if you went in five years and your numbers were high, but you still like it was still only one person, mm-hmm. they would maybe kind of be like, that's a bit weird, but. That's what he told me is that they're only going to look at the next five years. Mm-hmm. So if we go and I think it's 27, 2027, and say we've only got maybe a full time shipper and welder and maybe a couple part time, like maybe a remote part time accountant yes. and maybe a marketing person uh-huh. part time. Like that's probably no as much like. For our plan, like we basically had a couple full time, and like I think he basically said you want to show that you're gonna have like four or five people in mm-hmm. five years. So say we don't have that, but we've got we're on the that numbers, track. Yeah, uh, I think it'll be fine. But even in that, and now you're saying there, like when it was accepted, we hadn't quite had like the visa and all that through. The numbers had obviously grown. I think that the trajectory is right. is good. Yeah, um, and we're in one of the, and it also when it makes sense to judge it right. Well, your visa is based on. You have to hire five people, right? Yeah. One a year. But well, you like, could easily do that and... It's depending on the business. Like, you buy a yeah. restaurant, well, you're going to have to hire 20 people. Or, or if you buy... Depends on how easy it is to scale. Like, our business is, te- is quite easy to scale with not that many people. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like... Well, you just like, need to look at what both you and William are doing yourselves we, just we, now. A couple of people. We, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, plant hire, like, well, you're not getting to those numbers without six people. No, you need operators or, on bums and So it's and like... It would be stupid to kind of just base it on... And mm-hmm. then there's then it's gonna to get to a point to like, well, then the numbers are when the numbers are hopefully keep getting bigger that you might go I, I feel like you might go for like one or like me to two to like three to like six. Yeah. Like quite fast because your numbers are needing it. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, well then we can afford to uh, invest in somebody that's Full time on your marketing that mm-hmm. like you're obviously not going to do the now, um, so I I think I think it'll be fine from what I, from what he told us is that I you can basically keep renewing it every five uh-huh. years, yeah, and as long I as long as you're 
you're going in that direction. Direct. Yeah, yeah, I've got no reason to say no. I, I, I don't think so, anyway. But I also, I, it's no to like make you feel like we have to have these people employed mm-hmm. or whatever, because you're obviously not wanting to do that. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, it, that was two years, that's two years, uh, aye, that's two years come March, because technically, we could, all the waiting time, because I just looked at my passport, like all the waiting time, you kind of get back in a way, because at the start date wasn't until, wasn't until March 2022. So you've got so then five years so from So it's then. March 27. Oh, yeah. Which is three and a bit years. Mm-hmm. So I, but and we'll no, we'll not be able to keep going without at least at least a no. couple of people. So I know I think I'm not really, and that's exciting. About it. Like just no for the visa part, just in in general mm-hmm. that you are growing that business and that you do need that help now mm-hmm. to grow the business even further. Because like William spend he could spend all like a full and he does a full morning just packing, whereas mm-hmm. he could be doing other no, no. stuff that's going to. And then that would keep that grow, packing I, happening. And that would I and you, and I sometimes I think about that, like the amount of time you're you're not wasting because it needs to be done and like mm. like you need but it's an you're important like, part. you could be working on new stuff, like new products to add and new ways in mark like that oh, uh-huh. just keeps everything growing. So I, I it's gonna be a hard like mindset, I think, to get out of to like think, well, but I, I said this before when we were looking sort of back at technically last year, like was that for this year, I would be quite happy to like, if we, say we sold, well, I wouldn't be happy if we didn't like sell a wee bit more, but like say we sold more, but like our bottom line was the same, mm-hmm. but we had some people in that in place and we had, we were like positioned to actually Go and yep, do yep. double the next uh-huh. year and make double. Like I would be fine. I would be fine with I, even if we did sell the exact same and mm-hmm. we made like zero money, mm-hmm. but we had a better. I mean, structure. you're paying for those people. And stuff. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's definitely going. That's only going to grow the steadily. Next year. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So yeah, I, yeah. again, it's one of them things. Like uh, I know, that, like mum and dad and that, like when they were running, like they, I don't even think they looked at numbers as such. Maybe like at the end of a year, look back, right? Yeah. But. Whereas I was well, not like, if it, like, maybe them personally, but if they're, they're accountant, I'm no bashing them and whatever, but oh, how the... I heard that, wasn't he? So, and the, you need and the right people the to help of, you. And, uh, and obviously dad is no like a numbers type person. Mm-hmm. They like margins and num- like all, oh, like he obviously knows, like, I mean, the basic side is you need to make more or uh-huh, yeah, than yeah. you spend. Yeah. Obviously everybody knows that and you get to know these things, but like I... Sometimes I get a wee bit bogged in the numbers and then I'm like, whoa, the numbers don't reflect like every single thing that happened. No, but I think you need to have a good... No, I'm not a numbers person at all and I oh, hold my hands up. But I I think you do need to know like what you're spending, where that is going, but I I think it is a good thing to know, definitely. Uh, I, but I, I, you could easily get bogged in it. Oh, like, 100%. Number, like, tr- well, that's why we're spending it. Like, I'm no... But I, when it comes to like see spending on shipping things and boxes and all that and like uh-huh. stu- like I couldn't I genuinely couldn't care like it, no like we've got sitting well, you can't see it but there's like <laughs> rolls upon rolls of packing tape rain that like do you need or like, of stuff like and it's but I, you could say well well we can get that if we you know if we get this type of tape or whatever we'll save like and you, I, you might save like a few hundred quid then that all adds up to maybe a few mm-hmm. thousand dollars that tape's usually shit, and then well, you'll need that, more tape and talk. That, yeah. but then and but then I'm like, I I would rather spend my brain power on like, well, how can we actually sell more stuff? Yeah, like 100%. you might do all that, and you might save yourself like five grand a year. It's like, well, you could have sold something for five grand, like that would have been well easier. Mm-hmm, yeah. So I, I mean, unless it gets to the stage, and that'll be something that I suppose once you get bigger, and you're not as involved in it, like I know we're not stupidly spending because I'm there and like I'm uh-huh. packing the stuff and. Whereas when you're a wee bit further removed, like it might be stuff, might get a wee bit, like people maybe spending, overspending, and mm-hmm. so you will need to pay attention to like, but like, I don't know, I'm just, I don't get bogged down in that. And then the same on the other side with like sales and monthly things and that, like obviously you want to make sure you feel like you're going the right direction, mm-hmm. but you, like you're, when you've only done it a few years, you can't be like, 
oh, this month like was really bad compared to last month. And it's like, well, like two sales can make that difference. Mm -hmm. One big sale yeah, yeah. can make that month amazing. Oh, 100%. And so I'm no, I think like even a year is probably, a year's probably a, enough time to see that, right, aye, we're going the right way. Mm -hmm. But even three months, like six months, I don't think it's enough to be like, what we're, what we're doing is wrong. Yeah. Or like, we no, start no, three marketing. Three months is absolutely nothing. nothing. The marketing side as well, like you're not going to just change it just like that. It does no. take, in fact, I was doing a, making a thumbnail for like the YouTube channel videos this morning. Um, and we're, we're catching up. I think we're in November. It was the week of my birthday. So the middle of November. Um, and William was a congenie flew one of the uh, TC ones um, that was going out. And all that had came from months ago. Um, somebody had seen it on, um, I think it was either TikTok or one of the other YouTube videos, like one of mm -hmm. original ones. And that's months. So it does sometimes take, mm -hmm. it does take then, time. I mean, it's not it, going to happen instantly. Aye. And a lot of, uh, and that's what I'm saying, a lot of, like a lot of the things I don't even think you can measure. Like you can even, there's a lot of things you can't, I mean, and if you don't have numbers like you're in, you're not going to measure it. Yeah. Uh -huh. like when it, even if, when it's marketing or clicks and views and that, like obviously you need to know, like your numbers do reflect. And I have heard folks saying that I like the more things you track, the more data and numbers that you have, then oh, uh -huh. the more things you can track, the better. Mm -hmm. But there's certain things that I just feel like you, you just know if it's working or no. And you, and mm. you, you have an, a sense and that's probably one thing we're needing to do this year is have a better sense of like, like so say sales are no what you they're needing to be or you think they are, but you know that like the phone's just as busy as it always uh -huh, is. Yeah, I'm yeah. sending it enough quotes and that like it's just we just need like it'll come if you know. What yeah, I mean. hundred percent. Sometimes you just get, it's a lot of our products. They're they're. Exp Mm -hmm. a lot of money to some people if you've mm -hmm. got somebody that's maybe a man and an operator aye, kind just, of thing aye. that's a lot of money to mm -hmm. them and like the and it's a lot of money to us too like i mean like obviously our the drive units what's our x 2500s like they are like bread and butter as you say and that's obviously a smaller a smaller return compared to like your, mm -hmm. the plane are sitting behind you but it's still important like every mm -hmm. single one mm -hmm. um and, and that's aye. so sometimes you just need that Aye, it will take time. Like yeah. If I was buying something quite expensive for, for for work or anything like that, you do your research, and I'm sure they'll probably go and speak to other companies or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, aye, it's sometimes it doesn't just happen overnight. No, it would be nice if it would, but yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Well, that's that's why I, aye, there's, but then back to like the numbers and like mm -hmm. like I, where I can see that that obviously does work. That is, if you're if you're just tracking like sales or in sales and even if mostly just, I mean, most folk are just accounting numbers as maybe all they have yeah. like sales and costs and stuff like that. But then uh, if you take into account, like if we, what we need to get is like a, some sort of CRM so that you can measure like how much you're quoting out yeah. to see roughly. Because I did actually, the, <laughs> I would still do it probably well an older school way. It's like I just send people a quote just with like an Excel basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just make like a wee mm -hmm. quote and put it in the email. So like I've got like an Excel that's like basically all the quotes that have been sent out. Mm -hmm. And that obviously by the end of the year there's like thousands of rows. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, just as a matter of interest, like I wonder if you just added up all those rows, like what it is. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, it is like double what the sales are. So you're basically quoting out twice as much stuff yeah. as you ever will sell. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but then as you get bigger and as you then maybe get somebody else, you there is more chance of follow, like following up. And we are finding just now, it's, syst it's all systems. Yeah. Like putting in place and like sticking to it. Yeah. Like so that nothing's getting missed or you have that time. Aye, the, the system thing and it's will be everything. Like yeah. we're needing systems for just now. Um for like YouTube channels and stuff like Daryl who works with us for doing our editing like it's getting a system in place that he knows what he's doing and we know what we're doing and oh 100% it's, I know, it's a system just a process. for everything a, yeah. a process for absolutely everything and the, and and that's what I've wasn't starting to notice too that when you're again when you've got more time and well now I've got less time because it's busier but at mm -hmm. the start 
when you can take the time to like look at a bit of like website analytics and be like well I like overall or see what things are like the most popular but mm -hmm. then see that that you're on the right track where like even if you are messing about with SEO stuff which we just kind of which is a mindful, minefield yeah. I went to a thing I don't know if I spoke to you about it down um, in Birmingham I wanted William to go because I felt it was all it was going to be really mm -hmm. technical and stuff I like it I thought I did look this is quite interesting like backlinks and all this organic like the more you get into it the worse it is oh my goodness like I just <laughs> I was out I was out my depth 100% like it yeah. was um, and I was only there was only like three three women there the whole thing it was all mm. men who were all excited about the numbers and yeah. all of this and um, confusing Google and like corrupting yeah. Google and all. I'm like, oh, well, I was where, out of my depth. Well, that's 100%. where I, so that's oh. where I, I spent some time and that was one of the first times when I had time because at the start, like I, as much as there was 10 things you could be doing, it was like, mm -hmm. right, what, most people find us through the website. So it's mm -hmm. like, let's take some time and see. So I, I just tried to learn some stuff online. But then I, if you sit and you, you minutely look at things and that I feel like it's oh, that's like bigger like again it, aye it's some, sometimes you need to do that to incrementally improve but <clears throat> I just uh, so I'd done some stuff and then sort of left it and then say went back because again if you would just go crazy if, you, if oh, that's uh -huh. all you were doing yeah, so yeah. I'll, and I'll get I'll, I'll get obsessed with something for like a month for a few weeks yeah. And then I'll leave it. But mm -hmm. I think that's it's actually not too bad because I done all that, a lot of that stuff that went through. Because whenever William built the website again, he wasn't spending time. It was just like get a functional website, get things listed, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. get pictures mm -hmm. and all that, and get prices. We weren't really gone through every page like mm -hmm. is this title right now. So, yeah. so I tried to do that to for what I had learned, mm -hmm. and then I just left it. Yeah, but going back to seeing you earlier on, we're saying about sales it takes time. Like you, all those sort of changes, you need to see. Well, that's what I'm saying. Aye. What that? I know. So that's what I'm saying. So I've done all that, and then say, kind of moved on to my next mm -hmm. like obsession for the next. <laughs> but then you go back and look, and again, like when you when you zoom out a wee bit and mm -hmm. you look, and then like, even just the most basic thing, it's like, oh well, the website traffic's like up. Mm -hmm. So even if you dig no deeper than that and you're like where is it going and yeah. how long are people if you just say well right so we're doing something, something right. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and then like and then obviously then it's just a big snowball effect they're like well so then the website's better then you go to Con Expo and you meet a few folk that can supply you with new things so you build 10 new website pages mm -hmm. well that gets you more traffic because uh -huh. you've new more stuff mm -hmm. so then that starts to build and then and then the more traffic you get in general, then Google's like this is kind of ranking your website. Yep, yep. And then the more like returning customers you have because you're getting more sales, well then they'll maybe check back your website and they're like, I wonder what else they mm -hmm. have. Or yep. they get an email from you if you do an email thing. Or like so it all just builds and builds. But I it's 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 really good, I think, like when you when you can see everything and obviously start to come. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's It'll now, I think the hard kind of bit now is going to be like, how do you almost come out of those things and maybe get people? That's what I'm going to think. Like, yeah, I think both of you are going to struggle with that because William um, obviously oversees like to, absolutely yeah. everything just now. And as much as he's like, I can do obviously social media stuff and things, he's still like, oh, what about that? Or mm -hmm. then he'll do he'll do something. I'm like, that's that's me that's meant to do that. And he's like. Right, I know, okay, but I'll just do it. But I'll just do it, and I'm like, I'll just but it's, it. it's mine I know, to do. I know. I know. That's what that will be think hard. I going to struggle. That will be hard. And I can understand that because you of like this is your thing, and yeah. Or like, of, oh, I maybe wouldn't have done it that way. Like the way you've done it's fine, but mm -hmm. like, I would have strapped it, done a wee bit different, or like <laughs> that's what it will be like. And that will be. I've yeah. heard people saying that I, that's. He gets so hardest. antsy. See if like he's watching me and like. It happened this morning. I was putting that thumbnail on, and then I done it how I got to like putting the thought like going on to YouTube, but on this certain area the way I do it. So why do you not just do that? go back and do it that way? But I'm like, you end but up that's, the exact oh, same it's the thing. same place. It doesn't matter what route you go, you still end up the same place. But no, no, yeah, I think. But that's think, where again back to your whole thing. If you had a procedure that was like a set it, yeah, thing, uh -huh, uh -huh. then anybody could, and then mm -hmm. you know people are doing it. That way. I found it that way because that's I had to find out for myself how to work that out. So that's why I do it that way. Mm -hmm. If he'd shown me 
that way I would mm-hmm. probably do it the same way so then that then goes on to well if we then employ staff if we're wanting it done that way mm-hmm. there needs to be processes mm-hmm. put in definitely and that's aye because that's going to be that'll be I think I mean the sh- the shipping and all that stuff and the welding like I'll, that'll obviously need to be trained like to an extent but it's not that complicated I don't think I mean aye so I think that side of it I think I'll actually be not too bad I think because I don't I can't it's, speak obviously for yourself, but I know William's welding experience is... Is minimal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I, I like to get somebody that's way better than yeah, me, uh-huh, that can yeah, tell yeah. me, mm-hmm. like, what we should be doing. Uh-huh. And then when it comes to, if that person is willing to learn how to, I mean, shit and stuff out, it's easy. So well, I mean, if I just, can do it, anybody yeah. can do it. Yeah, you yeah. just need to know what things are. And then that's my whole thought, way, again, with a new place, try to get it more organised and everything in and an locations. Area. Mm-hmm. And ideally locations in the computer that your patent slip basically tells you where things are mm-hmm. that it, that literally anybody could just go out, pick mm-hmm. these four yeah. things and put them in a box or whatever. No, definitely. So like Williams that's... labelled like hitches, for example, because obviously, mm-hmm. as you know, they come in a various like pin sizes, centres and mm-hmm. dipper width and everything. They're all different, but he's got them all labelled, thankfully, mm-hmm. with or like um, skew numbers yeah. and stuff. So you just kind of compute and it tells you. Mm-hmm. The, so they're a bit easier because they obviously tell they you what they are. They come with that. Yeah. Like aye. And so I, I'm, I'm, with that whole, like the whole, that side of it, I'm actually, I think I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And then I, the one thing that we, I, that obviously, and that's where I would say most companies don't have, say, written procedures is just for like the, the computer side in yeah. general. It like, I, I, we need, we need to try and get somebody this year to help with that side, but keeping and, and yeah, not even bookkeeping, I would say more just like the general admin. Just putting I uh, invoices through. I know like Shirley's definitely helped us, um, like any receipts or anything like that. She fires yeah. that on the on the system just for stuff us. That, that I takes again, time. I know it's that, and, and, and it's sometimes boring. you're like it's both, but <laughs> and you're like something. Well, it's not that much work, but but then before you know it, like you've wasted, or not wasted, but you've spent an hour on something that's like I, I, that hour could have been used to try mm-hmm. and get another sale in. Hundred percent, mm-hmm. I know. Aye. So that that's I would say what we need to try and do for this mm-hmm. year, yep. and then I've, I it'll be I think it'll be it will be hard, mm-hmm. but it's necessary. it is very exciting though, and I go through the stages obviously because obviously I was doing teaching before, and there's sometimes days I'm like ah oh, maybe I should go back or do go and do something with that again or something else, and then. It is quite exciting though. I know. I like going out. Like I don't know if you've done anything like that actually yet. Um, we went down to Yorkshire with one of the Cymex screening buckets oh, for a demo. For a demo, that was great. Like yeah, I get more jolly, stuff, but more stuff it was like good. That you can do though when you have got uh-huh. people. Yeah, because we left, so we always had to get orders day. out in the morning. Oh, it was a full day. Mm-hmm. We got orders out first thing in the morning, and then we left to go down there, and it ended up being a wee bit longer because we were mm-hmm. aye, chatting away and stuff. But now that customer has then since, um, I'm sure he's ordered a breaker now from, from mm-hmm. us. So it's, mm-hmm. I think you as well, as much as we kind of started off when William's idea was to do like more just an e-commerce, like you order on the website and don't need to see, see people. See now, I think you need to like mm-hmm. still have that connection with mm-hmm. somebody. That's I, I think both. Like I think, yeah. Um, the, the way I try and think about the website and that is like, well, how the website should be good enough and having everything that uh, people that are make comfortable co- enough. Yeah, confident that I'm ordering that it correct thing. Right. This is all going to turn up. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly uh, how I need it, and mm-hmm. that they don't need to phone. But then uh, you're never going away for getting away from the people that do ever. phone. Mm-mm. So it's like you're never going to just become an Amazon shopping no. place. But I, but then I, it's, it's that exact same thing is like, I, I, I enjoyed going to Con Expo and that. I would like to actually do smaller shows mm-hmm. and actually yep. show at them. But yep. then I, obviously that takes away from the other stuff. Uh-huh. It's the same with coming back home. It's like, well, so that I, that has to happen this year. At least, at least to have somebody to at least ship stuff, get mm-hmm. stuff out the door. Yeah. Because you can still answer the phone and sell mm-hmm. stuff yeah, when yeah. you're away mm-hmm. but obviously if you're not there you can't so uh-huh. that'll be massive and then I like you say I, I think there's there, uh, there's just so much that's the main thing I like about it to be honest is like there's every day is a different every day every day is different and you <laughs> yes. can go in and you know there's certain things that need to be done yep. like regardless 
but then after that's done, like some days that's all you maybe get done. Mm -hmm. And but then after they're done or on the weekends, like I, I, I like like working on a weekend because you know, right, I've got time to actually spend on. Yeah, there's no pressure of like that phone's going to go on and I'm going to be sidetracked. And you it's completely just, lose your point. Yeah, and it's like, I so I like the the variation and and that sort of stuff, but. Then I sometimes you just get completely overwhelmed with like <clears throat> when you've got twenty ways you could spend your time. It's like well, <coughs> you end up mm -hmm. not doing anything rather than <laughs> if you only had one 100%. thing to do, it would probably be easier just to do. You it. get in that mindset. There's so many things to do, and it's like oh, oh and know, then you, you maybe start one. a little bit, and then I better get that done, and nothing gets done. Nah, it, it's so bad. Mm -hmm. I've noticed William's done it actually. And he's especially doing a lot of kind of computer work if he's on doing stuff on there that he will just he'll either maybe go and get like Woody's usually in with just us just take Woody out for 10 minutes or just I he'll maybe walk up here and just I maybe yeah. I don't know potter about for half an hour and then go back just as a reset like mm -hmm. he, his mentality like and everything's changed since now just obviously focusing on solely the business as of obviously started goodness last year um as well, and I think this is maybe lean on a different kind of point, is that kind of balanced, like, he's in the gym in the morning, which he never done before, mm -hmm. never done before, and then working, but then taking that kind of time, um, as I say, when he gets bogged down and stuff, like, just taking that wee half hour or, or whatever. Yeah, I don't I really know. know why I brought that up, but I think no, that's I important too. I know, but I, I, I... Because you can get totally, like... Well, and then and <clears throat> I get sometimes... Uh, I get like a f a fear that like I'm no like imposter syndrome that and or like I'm not working hard enough like I don't this is probably like no good for you but like and I think it honestly comes for like I think it comes for dad that like we've seen what he's done for like ever he never since. stopped yeah. though and and so then I'm thinking like well that's to me it's like that's what you need to do to be but but it's no like it's, it's not no. and and he like and that and that comes from I think again he obviously they done well and mm -hmm. everything and yep. there's people doing things different ways and obviously William I think kind of found that out but like uh, to me for the outside looking in like that's what happens when like you don't get the right people in that you you're yeah. so like you have to be there and you have to, so I have this thing sometimes that I'm like. That like, like I like I'm not doing enough, or I should be doing more, or like. But you just, should be doing. I, I, but I know you could just saying. be wasting your time. Like to, that, to what we're saying is like, well, you're bit like bit like quality time is better than seventy hours a, over quantity. A like crap. yeah, hundred percent. Like I obviously been up there, and I'm not. I'm not bashing like how they done it because obviously we're, we're successful and and things. This, the, the size of the company and stuff like that and people that they had working for them but having worked like in this sort of structure with the council before where I had like a line manager who then had the next mm -hmm. person then the next person even reason. when I worked in retail and stuff like that there's those you need to pass that sort of responsibility in mm -hmm. areas that you're that's not your strong point and you you use those have those people that's hence why we've got a video editor because we're not good at it no. get those people in that that's good at doing it same it's, with a little bit of responsibility because yeah, like I felt sometimes your dad was like a headless chicken up there, like yeah. just running about doing everything and micromanaging everything like yeah. that. And if he felt that's how he had to do it, 100%. But I don't think that's necessarily suited to William or your way it's, of working. No. And that's fine. Like it doesn't, how your dad done it, that's absolutely fine mm -hmm. for him. And how you guys are doing it, that's fine. It's and then yeah. same with your aunt Anne, like for example, how she golfs quite a lot of the time. Well, that's up to her and that's yeah. fine. As long as she, I think as you get older, you realise, you know what, <laughs> There's different ways of doing things, and that's absolutely yeah. fine. But whatever I, works for you, and whatever you're happy doing, and as long as you're not hurting anybody, do yeah. just yeah, do yeah, but, like. And then it's like, well, well, it's like what your goals are as well. Yeah, uh huh. It's like to, with that, with certain things, if that's the way you're running it, yep. that only gets you to a certain size, uh -huh. or, or and that's like abs. Like you're saying, me and Anne's business, it's like, well, she's a lot more removed for it now. Yeah, uh huh. Which I, if you're just wanting to keep it kind of how it is and it's making enough and you can go and do your own what things. you want to do then, then that's perfect that's fine. Uh -huh. but if you don't well then you're going to need to one either spend more time in it uh -huh. or two 
have a lot more folk. Yes. And then, so I, it's, it's however, it's, it's like depends what your target, uh -huh. how, what you're trying to build. If you're trying mm. to just build something that's self-sustaining and, and just enough to get by or mm -hmm. whatever, or if you're trying to build something that's a lot, lot bigger, or if, and, and again, when it comes to dad, like, he, he like likes get, do, being doing that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, he uh -huh. would say that. Like, he, you, they probably could have like got some people in and ha have him more just say in the office and managing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let's know what he, he doesn't like doing that. So, no. Like, he prefers to be out in the, mid, in the middle. Of it. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I, it's, I, I mean, it's fine. Like I say, I just don't. I, there's just, I, I can see myself sometimes thinking, like, well, well, like when, like, mum and dad, like, seem, you know, worked really, really hard and, and mm -hmm. whatever. And it's almost like, well, should, like, is that what I should be doing sometimes yeah, yeah, or uh -huh. whatever? But it's just a completely different. It's different, thing. I think. Let's say, for example, when, like, the age of your dad was, like, the same age as you, sort of thing, back in the day. Um, it was different if it, like, Life was different. There, there's more. Oh, you couldn't start an e-commerce. No, you. there was no. No, there's there was... just it's different. You get access. We get access to yeah. more mm -hmm. things to do in life. There's maybe more options for people. I think it, it, sometimes I don't quite like seeing this, but it was different times. Mm -hmm. And when you've been brought up that way to uh, just work, 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 work. My mum and dad, and to a certain extent, are similar. Obviously, they don't have their own business or anything, but sometimes dad can't quite compute that we're like doing this sort of thing and mm -hmm. how's that then getting new money in or, right. or different right, things like, or are we going to America like in, tomorrow like how's that all yeah it's like input to you I think it's like input output mm -hmm. like they they if like you can see directly I put this in like and I get this out, out yeah uh -huh. whereas like with a lot of the other stuff it's like well how it's maybe not as clear to see mm -hmm. like what the input output yeah, is uh -huh. and it's not even clear to like I even uh like measure like it's like i felt sometimes like well dad's obviously worked all these days so is my mum like you go to work you come home and then mm -hmm. like you, you've done your working part like mm -hmm. whereas william and i do things like sometimes dad gets a bit like how are you doing that at I know. nine o'clock at night it's like well because actually be fair doing it I, at, night, I like doing at, it. at this and time like of night rather than during the day like yeah. i've got something else i'd like to do like say for example the gym like i'm quite quite like that just now so that class is like half nine to half ten. So that hour I'll make mm -hmm. that up later on. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I actually prefer working later mm -hmm. than than at that time. But it's just different ways for for working now. And and I think COVID has got a huge thing for that too. Yeah, and right. that's what coming for like I think dad and that um, probably the same for yours. Like coming for like farming that sort of background is very much like you get oh, uh -huh. out what you put in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whereas we as like it's. Obviously, the more you do, like, the, it should, it increases the chances that it's going to work. Yeah. But, like, there's a, I, the, when it comes to s scaling up sales, mm -hmm. it's like, well, I, if you had a team of people and you had all these systems and you had, like, you can generally scale that, like, without having to put, no, mm -hmm. put, put no, like, no that much effort in. It's like, work still smart, not harder. Uh, that, you that still thing. need to, mm -hmm. but it's just, like, it's just your input is say less and your output's way bigger because mm -hmm. you've got way more stuff in between rather than just 60 hours in, I bust 60 your ass hours out. Yeah, uh-huh. Like it's it's just, and then I, it's just with the internet and with everything. It, it's true, it is way yeah. easier for us. I don't yeah. care what you say. Like oh, 100%. But, but then I remember different. having a conversation with you a long time ago. Um, I think we were actually in Munich that time speaking about how like convenience is made as a bit like it's almost bad yeah there was some quote or something you had said at the time that there's certain things that it's good for but mm -hmm. then at the same time it just makes it a bit i think so i know yeah it's like uh, but uh, we'll well, that was interesting we've like nearly reached an hour again mm -hmm. so that's we're it. definitely splitting this up so william has just come in i'm here Hello. So we've just spoke about how Andrew has basically got to Denver. Mm. Um, new workshop. That's where you finished the other day. No, nah, we've got we've been in Denver. We've moved yeah. we've oh, moved warehouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've moved warehouses. Um, so we're obviously in the new warehouse. Um, and we're just chatting about 
the sort of sort of future, I guess, a little bit like what sort of processes, and I know we've spoke about that as well, like putting processes in um, to make life a little bit easier and stuff. So where do you both see the attachment company, LLC? So yeah, what does it, what does the future look like, essentially? Like a, well, necessary thing. Yep. Um, and obviously for, in the, in the US, I mean, I think there's still obviously hundreds of new products that we can add. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, there's obviously, we've been starting to try and develop our own sort of line. Yeah, that's another, um, like, we've still all that to discuss, but that yeah. might be a, a Zoom thing. <laughs> yeah, so I think between us both, if we can start to develop that for <clears throat> yeah. for stuff, I think for the US, for, like, stuff that, some common things, um, obviously we started with, like, the skid steer buckets and, and some some bits, I think there will be an opportunity there for the US to do like more no like new stuff that you don't get in the US, but more of like stuff well maybe we've seen something here that we think well we can make our own sort of version. Yeah. Like I don't know if I'd ever really want to get into try to be like build stuff for scratch or sell or like be a mm. manufacturer as yeah, such. Uh-huh. But if we can sort of maybe come up with some ideas for for things, I think that would be mm-hmm. A lot better. Um, and then I, let's like say, I think there's, I mean, there's just so much, there's so much opportunities for, I think, new, new products, basically. I think between, uh, aye, just different brands, different yep. markets that we're not even in, like demolition stuff, like just, mm-hmm. there's so much things. I was just trying to slowly yeah. add bits and pieces. I think as well, we, for us here to, like I've always sort of I think just because I've got that kind of ties to it is like the agricultural kind of sector and you kind of seen that when we went to the ploughing championships we didn't sort of kibosh it it was just like we maybe never explored it enough and then after speaking to everybody Um, a few people have asked for on the PTO haven't they Um, and we've got some front loader buckets maybe in the works uh too so I think Um, quite interesting for me is seeing that we're we've either experiencing or in the middle of experienced or in the middle of experiencing the same challenges in another country as we've well we were talking about that like here yeah we're going to be close to really needing at least one staff member in the u.s um we're going to be similar here and it's the same sort of person that we're actually yeah, both looking we've for we've obviously tackled the space issue fairly well there now which is good mm-hmm. we need to do that here and it's just going to be kind of run about the same sort of challenges which is kind of cool that that translates to both yes um, both markets, but because mm-hmm. kind of what's been about, we've seen we've been through some stuff that hopefully we can help Andrew with, and then vice versa, vice versa so, yeah. which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Which has to be a lot of the benefit, yeah, along with making new contacts and stuff like that, and and that's just how it's came about. Just when you're saying about different products, how the one there with a grapple saw in the works. I don't know if you've talked about it, but no, from just a contact I had to be reaching out to somebody. 8, 10, 12 months ago mm-hmm. the then came back around and we've proven that we can handle it and yeah, and make it work so I think now like and we've obviously experienced well I can't really go into too much detail just now like, but people approaching us for things or maybe wanting to work mm-hmm. with us and things I think that's like uh, what's the word that I'm looking for compliment compliment yeah that was the word I was looking for but I think similar to that a compliment to both like what you've done Maybe. here and across there that people are now reaching out uh, rather than be. us trying to trap doors now uh, I know it should be my, it sh- in theory it should be I think easier to mm-hmm. add yeah. stuff when people can see uh, what you've, what you've done. already done 100% Whereas, like at the start it's kind of like well what are we what, uh, who are they are, uh, who, and, and whatever whereas now even going to shows and that got to like Con Expo and that like it should in theory be easier the yeah, more chance uh-huh. that they've heard about you more chance that they know some stuff because mm-hmm. um, that, and that's something else that I think will be better if we can if it gone back if we can get the people in that the process let us in. go and spend more time on that so yep. go to shows I, if no showing it shows just go to them for a day or two mm-hmm. and it's like we said it's all just contacts and connections definitely that's when we were talking about like how initially you weren't really fussed about you just wanted to be an e-commerce sort of site and 
no necessarily need to speak to people, but I think it's definitely important. I'm still not the world's biggest fan of actually showing, but I don't understand speaking that to people though, because talking to people and I've heard you speak is... to people, and I think you're very good at it. Like you know your products, okay. and uh, you can chat. Like it was when we went to oh, Bauma last year, like chatting away to people all over the world. It does because there's that, that common interest. Uh, 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 yeah, that. you get good. It takes practice. It's a skill that takes practice. Oh, definitely. The bigger we get, as Andrew says there, you're less. I know you don't get the same sort of nervousness or like imposter mm-hmm. syndrome as like, are you wasting their time? Are you um, are you wasting their time? Or like, are you serious? Do they think we're serious? Mm-hmm. But I think that kind of goes away a wee bit more, so which does always help as well. Yeah, but. no, definitely. Um, so yes, yeah, so obviously that's the future for, for us. What's in store for the rest of the year? Obviously, a little bit of what we've just spoke about. Obviously, try to find people, processes, but anything else? What yep. are we? Um, anything coming up? Is there shows or anything? Nothing major. Uh, actually, well, uh, John's going to go out to a couple things for us. So that's. Uh, we're going to actually interview John um, when we're out. I'm going yep. to America soon, back so tomorrow. But John uh, is. Aye, basically our uncle, but he's he's helping out. He went to Con Expo with us <coughs> just to sort of start learning some stuff. Yeah. Because he's obviously no got the background in, in this industry. But he's quite keen to learn a lot more stuff and maybe even help us with that. So we've got, he's gone out to, uh, with a few of his golf sort of connections, uh, to a green keeper, some sort of green keeper conference thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's in Arizona. Uh, through the golf club that he's at and hopefully to try and get some connection sort of in the yeah. golf course That'd building, aye, that sort of thing. Um, and then he's also gone for there, or I think he's gone back in between, but he's gone to World of Concrete, which is a show in Vegas, yeah. which is a bit more specific to, well, concrete, concrete. and demolition mm-hmm. and that sort of stuff. But as I looked, and there is a few folk that we know that are showing at it, Um so I, he's going to go to that mm-hmm. just to, as a, as a spec, well, as a customer more or less to go around mm-hmm. no, no showing anything. Um, I have a fun fact about there, that world of concrete, only because we went to the Hoover Dam and they, they do a trip oh, down to the Hoover Dam. William's like, well, here she goes. But apparently when we done the tour of the Hoover Dam, because there was that much concrete poured, the, the middle of the dam is still not set. Oh, that is, I know. It's I, not set. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And I supposedly that world, I, it'll be way more like niche, obviously, than like Con Expo. Yes, uh-huh. But again, the same with the Greenkeeper thing. Like, a, a, if you can spend more time trying to get into mm-hmm. the small, smaller, no, even smaller markets, but yep. neat, more specific things. Oh, definitely. Um, Would be good. So that'll be one thing. And then other than that, for me, there's nothing really major. I'm thinking about trying to tie in going to visit some factories later in the year. Nice. Um, since we've got a few folk for Italy and that, mm-hmm. try and go and visit some of them because I've never even really talked to a lot of the folk or mm-hmm. um, in person especially. So that that would be good and yep. trying to build up that relationship. But then, aye, other than that, just keep everything else going. Yeah. Don't know if there's anything else I've missed. There still is a lot going on other like other things that's mm-hmm. good. so what about you and us what have we got on this year a loads I don't know we cover that already um, I don't know if we did no, we need we to do a wrap up one for last year anyway so I we still to do that we can do one yeah. on but no but what's all coming up though this year because mm-hmm. uh, we did speak about doing a, well we have spoken about doing a couple of shows yep so we've got in so March we'll shows, yeah, a but. little bit like the go, the greenkeeping it's a turf show that we're going to which is local like literally half an hour down the road, so we can't get any more local than that. And in Scott Plant. And in Scott Plant, April. One, so. yes. But to be fair, when we signed up for, felt like it was ages away. No, and it's only like four months away now. Or our, our thing of pushing things down the road a wee bit and no kind of completely sort many details, so no, we'll not really we get on that, that yep. to fairly quickly. But other than that's kind of the main, yeah, the main book in, <laughs> schedule things anyway, uh-huh. unless anything else comes about. What's any of the big shows this year, is it? Uh, no, Hillhead. Hillhead this year. Bauma's next year. Next April. Bauma is uh, next year. It's Hillhead this year. That's pretty much it. Yeah, because Plantworks was last year. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. There might be some 
some other wee ones. Mm-hmm. There'll be county shows and agri shows and Isle Apparently shows the Black stuff, Isle show is meant to be decent. That's meant to be very good. But when is that again? August. No, Everything the seems to be time, August this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry? No, should be. Yep. I've got a few exciting things with the Aye, some women of the, and plant thing too. You've got some of that stuff on. If some of the stuff we talked about at the end of last year comes off, will be yes, really cool. So. that'll be exciting. Well, thank you very much, Andrew, for coming on. We could talk about lots more, and I think definitely the Attach Works brand, which we've spoke about a little bit, but we haven't went into any sort of detail on it, I think would be good to chat about, because that is quite Agreed. exciting from like basically starting the product to then actually, it'd be cool when you actually it. sell one, like and get it out and stuff, that'd be good. Well, I, my stuff should be in Los Angeles now. Cool. So when you get back, then let's get lots of like filming and stuff. Yeah. Right? That'd be good. Now, that's another thing you've said that I should be <laughs> trying to do more of this year. Is okay. the more you and you'll William will probably agree with you. The yeah. more you do it, the easier it comes. Like his phone's in his hand all the time. Like yeah. it's just a it's building right confidence. Now, it's just no natural for me. He just like it's I like just this. do a thing and yeah. then I'm like, fuck, should I film that? Aye, uh huh. Um, yeah, I just more try to work it into your workflow. Is as difficult. <clears throat> Yeah, I know, yeah. and so I that'd be one thing, and and then <clears throat> obviously since you've got the video guy, and obviously I've not even used him yet as such, but I suppose knowing that there is something somebody there, yeah, that I'm not going to need to sit and do it, uh-huh. <laughs> is probably should, should help spur you on a wee bit, yeah, like just film it and fire it to him, uh-huh, and then yep. and then at least get going. So I that that would be another thing. So I all that stuff should be there mm-hmm. as soon as I get back. It's only. Uh, some buckets and that, but we'll see cool. how they get on. Mm-hmm. No, and then, uh, see what else we can add. Super. Well, thank you very much, folks. Hopefully, you, if you've listened this far, this will be part two because we're now over an hour again. Um, so, Slam thank you very that. much. Um, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.